please, someone wake me up. My oh name no. Is Andy. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please just. It's turning red. Me, I no. Real. I must be real. I no. Must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? Hello? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay. Okay, this is getting creepy. Not creepy, but not creepy in the I think I'm a die way, but like it's like they keep they keep doing stuff and you don't know if you don't know if if the next restart is a complete restart. It's like, it's a con is it a continuation? Or did I just fuck up and restart? Like, you don't know. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, I went to the right last time. I'm going to the right. I went to the left this time. Okay, so far so good. What is this? Yet, there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Get Chris out of the broom closet. Office, hoping he might find an answer there. How to solve this? How to solve this dispute with coworker? Let it ball up inside you. Take it out passive aggressively. Resent coworkers. Let it ball up. Okay. Use a slide to assure employees that everything's okay. Make sure your slide has a slick blue graphic on the header. This will ensure calm and productive work environment. It does. It does. Everyone is unique. You most of all. I like that there were two black people in there. Okay, cool. I fuck with it. I fuck with it. Okay, we out of there. I know it said let somebody out the broom closet. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. I feel like something in here. Something gotta be in here, bro. There was nothing here. No choice to make. No path to follow. Just it gotta be. Broom closet. No it gotta to still be here. Hold on, bro. Chill. It gotta be something here. Don't try to confuse me. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least, if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet fa. Bro, is something here? You just, are you are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why me? Please offer me some explanation here. Bro, it's something here. Confused. It has to be. Why would they let me open this? I'm just not smart enough to find it. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, Fine! She would have Fine! Shut up! Fine! Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. That's red light. Nope. Yes, I have to. I have to. I've decided. I always stick to your decisions, kids. If you choose to walk into the depths of hell, then you can be a man or woman and you stick with that decision. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. Okay. He might be fired for that. I'll and take in that. In such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. Keep just go, keep moving. As Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? <gasps> why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? Stop pointing shit and out! Matter, stop! Was starting to look pretty familiar. Bro, and stop! Did, why this mess with me so bad? This is all too strange. This can't be real. Oh, and at God last, damn. he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming. Gotta be. Yeah. Gotta be. This is all a dream. Yep. Mm -hmm. oh, what a relief. Oh, see, I don't got no fucking feet, though. He found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. 
He wasn't crazy after all. Bro, I'm... He thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. What the fuck? Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun. Oh! He really marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stan's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Right. Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly... Oh, strange. no, here we go. We're going down the rabbit hole. About a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. Come on. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to more people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. Oh, my God. Why did I play this? Simply deceiving himself. Why did I play this? He's asleep. He doesn't have to take responsibility for himself. Why did I play this? Family is as awake right now. Oh my God! I feel like I'm about to pass out. Now hearing the voice speak these words was quite okay. shocked to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain the just... God, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? Oh How God! Else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too, surely. Just surely don't go the other way. Just... He would prove it. Stay positive. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. Stay positive. So he closed his eyes gently. Okay. And he invited himself to wake up. Okay. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on okay. his skin. The press of the mattress on his back. <sighs> the fresh air of a world outside this one. Okay. Let me wake up. He thought to himself, I'm okay. through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want Bro. my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. <gasps> my life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone wake me up. My oh, name is no. Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just It's turning tell real. Me I'm no. Real. I must be real. I must no. Be real. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Huh? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this what? day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming. What? And then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Bro. knows what crazy people look like. Oh my and gosh. She thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was Do I? And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered... Seeing a dead man made you feel better. Okay. The, day, the very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career. And by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this. So it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Wow. Was that... It's not even the end? Oh my God. What, am I dead? Am I dead? 
all of his co-workers were nah, bro, I'm, I'm rolling, bro. This shit is a mind fuck, bro. I can't. He had simply missed a memo. This shit a mind fuck. I don't like this. I don't like this now. It was fun at first. Now it's just getting to the point where I don't know what's real, what's fake, what's make believe. He entered the door on his left. I did last time, but that was terrifying. I'm going to the right. That was that was. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly. How do I end this? Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. Yes. I'm rolling. This room, I'm rolling. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. No. What's this? Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Okay. Okay, I think I'm, I'm going outside. Am I getting out? Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot. No, bro, I'm getting out, bro. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. You are. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be different. No, bro, no, no. No, la, 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 la. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. There's someone you've been Don't talk to me. Someone you've forgotten about. Please. Who? Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. I will make me. I'm not listening to you anymore. I'm not listening to you anymore, bro. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Who? Who? I'm going this way. I look like... I can't. Nope. Okay, fuck it. Dark room. Okay. 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 What's worse than what's the most what's the scariest thing I can think about right now? Okay. EDP! EDP! Ugh! That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in an I did it. Did I just call Jesus? Hello? Oh, Stanley, is that you? Yeah, I'm, I'm home. Yes. I'm just pouring the bread out of the oven. Oh, my God. Thank you, bro. I bet she, I bet she, I bet she look nice. I bet she look nice. You're damn good. Gotcha. You bitch. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Bro, I'm literally... I'm not faking here, bro. I'm this close to going fucking crazy over here, bro. Cause, like, literally everything I think real, fake. Everything I think fake, real. Every decision I make is not a decision. It was our part of the game. Like, it's like everything they planned, every move that you could possibly make. What? This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Am I already dead? Good morning, employee 427. Press X on your keyboard. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him. Okay. And every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. No. I'm, I'm breaking the cycle. I'm breaking the cycle. No. I will not press Z. Good sir. You keep that. I'll press A. C. Spacebar. I'm not pressing Z. Not. How long how long are we gonna stand here, bro? I'm not pressing it. I I quit. Okay? This is the only way to break the cycle. To stop listening to you. I'm not pressing it. No. No. Damn, bro, fine. Look at him there, pushing buttons. Doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now Can I go, bro, please? One might even feel sorry for him. Except Can I go? Like, dead ass. Can I go, bro? But in his mind, ah. In his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. A mind, bro. Discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. 
And each time he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Fine. I'll I'll watch TV, bro. Like I got nowhere to sit, but I guess I'll sit on that. You know, I just plop down. Boop. Just sit on the floor. Uh, and so he began to fantasize about his own job. Hello? First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face no, of the No, not a restart. Excited him terribly. Pritch age to spend time with the boys. So he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind. What am I doing? The mere thought that his decisions would mean oh my God. <sighs> was too wonderful to behold. This room. <sighs> As he wandered through this fantasy world, it's getting worse. He began to fill it with many possible paths. No, I'm, it's slowly turning into work. Round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. I used to tell your kids a story? It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end. That he might always feel this free. No, Surely there's an answer. That's the last thing I feel is free right now, bro. Perhaps if he played just one more time. I'll tell your wife, <sighs> Becky, you like a no, you like a uh, 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 Megan, Megan, you like a Meg Megan. I'm sorry, baby. I, I don't know what happened to me over these years. I just work got to me, you know. I just. I just I try to provide I try to provide for you and the kids, and you know I just get so caught up in my work that I forget that you guys love me and I love you too, and I just I, I God God there is no oh God damn it well she wasn't even fucking there. All he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Oh, has changed. Am I back at work? The more he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. What the? F Go to sleep, please. There is no sleep, of course. In this world, of course. He can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. <sighs> he won't listen to me. He won't Give me out. Here, Give me out. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. You see? Can he just not hear me? Huh? I'll tell him in a way that he'll understand that every what? second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself. How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Ah! Okay, don't, don't, don't press it. Don't press it. Don't press it. I'm not pressing it. You're not giving me credit for not pressing it. You're making me press it. You are making me press this button, bro. Oh, am I just not patient? I gotta be patient, I gotta be patient, I gotta be patient. Bro, this game is is making me really question am I alive right now? And that's not good. <laughs> I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I oh my gosh. I simply play to my intended purpose. Oh my gosh. Family. Oh my gosh. It's different, I suppose. Oh my gosh. I'll try once more to convey all this to Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. To oh my gosh. gosh. How I get out of here? Well, maybe this time you'll see. Can I go? Come on. I tried again, and Stanley pushed a button. Please die. Tried again, and Stanley pushed a button, and I. The fuck happened? What happened?
But it's not the same hallway. When Where does it end? He entered the door on his left. How do I stop this? Fine, bro. I will. No! Girl, I don't wanna go! I meant the right door! <sighs> Fuck. I, I forgot this way was the terrible way. Yet there was not a single person. I'm moving. Either. Moving through. In a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs. I'll finally to his go. Office. I'll go. Where you bitches at? Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? Oh my God, what bro! What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping. From What's the code? Him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number: two eight four five. Dumbass. Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Wait. I don't, really, I don't really have a choice in this point. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. Yeah, I know, right? the newly opened passageway. Oh, God. Whoop. Like, at this point, what's going on at this point? I have no idea what's going on at this point. Like, zero. Zilch. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now? When for years it had never occurred Let to me him. out. This question would not go unanswered for long. No. This game took a weird turn. Stanley as walked straight ahead through the mind control. Door, okay. Mind control facility. Oh God! What do I do? Ah! Uh, uh, what? Okay. 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 There's. There's zero, zero chance this is escape. But looking there, that looks like a mind control facility. But based on everything else in this game, whatever they tell me is true may be true. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. I need to. I don't know. Oh my god. Uh, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna throw a curveball and go to the mind control facility. Oh, it's making me question my. I'm usually, I'm usually a decision. I'll make a decision like that. This game, I feel like as soon as I walk through them fucking doors, he gonna be like, "Why did you walk into something that's a mind control facility?" But I feel like if I go to escape, it's not going to be escape. It's going to restart. What's my good telling me? What's my good telling My good telling me to go to mind control facility. <sighs> Fuck it. Here we go. I'm doing it. I got to make a decision. Press the button. Rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Okay. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? We already here, bro. I made a decision. We're doing it. Okay. There's nothing here. Oh, a button. Now the monitors jumped to life. Their okay. True nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals wow. reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley... Like, who's watching these cameras, though? Like... <laughs> where freedom meant nothing.
This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Well, 427. Has he really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with 427, right there. That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? What the hell, bro, what is going on? No. He refused to believe it. You right? He couldn't accept it. His We're getting out. Life in someone else's control. We're getting out, bro. We're getting out. Thinkable. No. Nope. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. What Controls the? Labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. Wow. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. We're stopping this, bro. He would dismantle We're stopping the controls this. once and for all. Oh, let's go. Cut this shit off. I'll break it. Hello? Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. He had I get won. out. He had defeated the machine. What? Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Let's go. I got Freedom out. He was mere moments away. Yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been... Who cares, my guy? They did better them than me. Mysteries did this strange building hold. Roll it, and come on. sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. Nope. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking. It's escape. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. Bro, if you don't jump to that shit. Tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Ah. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. Good job, Stanley. The only thing worth The hell are we in Skyrim? The hell? Through the open door. Don't don't fuck me here, bro. Stanley I made it. The cool breeze upon his skin. Thank you. Liberation. The immense you free, Stanley. The new path you free. This was exactly the way. Right now. You free, Stanley. Were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. And that's how you get. That's how you finish a game right there, bro.